Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been looking to replace its aging fleet of Chetik helicopters with the latest naval utility helicopter NUH. In the year 2017, the Navy came up with RFI to procure 111 NUH and these helicopters were to be used for multiple roles including search and rescue, casualty evacuation and low intensity maritime operations and torpedo attack. Back in October 2021, the Navy and HL has done extensive review of NUH requirement. Navy has asked for 60 NUH based on ALH as per by Indian IDDM that is indigenously designed, developed and manufactured route of defense equation DAP 2020. The new NUH will be a variant of ALH and modified for ship-based operation based on the Indian Navy's requirement. On 16th March 2023, the Defence Acquisition Council had accorded acceptance of necessity for the acquisition of IDDM equipment worth Rs 70,500 crore. The proposals constitute more than 56,000 crore for Indian Navy, which includes orders for Brahmos missiles with increased range, Shakti electronic warfare systems and Utility Helicopter Maritime or UHM. The UHM for which AON was accorded is going to be LH through Mark III variant with some modification required for deck based operation. This has also put an end to the initial procurement of NUH by Indian Navy. AON has been granted for 60 UHM for Indian Navy. The Coast Guard will acquire 9 LH through Mark III for maritime surveillance. Now recently, HL has told that the orders for UHM might come in next 2 to 3 years time frame. The DPSU is expecting an initial fund sanction for design and development and subsequently it will fall by the procurement order. Now the major issues or we can say design changes with LH as a maritime utility helicopter was its folding blades. Navy has specified the requirement of 3.5 meter folded blades right from the beginning. Even concessions were given to HL to achieve 5.4 meter folded width to begin with instead of 3.5 meter which they initially failed to achieve. The folding blade was taking more time as well and the size of folded blade was bigger than what was required. Navy wanted the folding blades to be quick and easy like other naval helicopters such as Chetak, Sea King or Kamov. Back in November 2020, HL carried out the demonstration of tail boom folding operation which was carried on LH Mark III DWDM prototype. In combination with existing two plate folding, the achieved stowage dimension of LH was 13.5 meter in length, 3.5 meter in width and 4.2 meter in height which meets the Navy's NUH or maritime utility helicopter specification. However, to achieve this, lot of modifications were done on naval LH Mark III. The segmented folding and automatic tail boom fold was included. With these changes, LH segmented folding takes less than 6 minutes to fold which is also well within the Navy's requirement. The same has been demonstrated to Indian Navy. Another trial was conducted in April 2021 to demonstrate the deck operational capability that included landing on the deck, folding of blades and storing the helicopter inside the onboard hangar. The shipborne trials were conducted off Chennai coast in collaboration with Indian Coast Guard. It also covered maritime activities inside the hangar and on the deck and hot refueling with engine runnings on the deck. These trials have now proven the capabilities of LH Group Mark III. With successful demonstration of these capabilities like blade folding, stowage, the helicopter is now ready to be fielded for operation. So if you closely observe the blades of HL Group, only the side blades need to be folded which moves backwards. The blade which is at the front and back remains at their original position. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector